Our next speech comes from the Compton Communicator Manual, it's speech number nine, and it's Persuade with Power. And the objectives of this speech are to persuade listeners to adopt your viewpoint or ideas, or take action, appeal to the audience's interests, use logic or emotion to support your position, and avoid taking notes. The speech is going to be performed by Ronnie Smith, who I haven't had the pleasure of seeing one of his speeches yet, so I'm really looking forward to it. So with a speech entitled, Go to Health, <coughs> Ronnie Smith. <laughs> the person who has their health has a thousand dreams. The person who loses their health has only one dream. This phrase paints a vivid picture of the importance of health to our life. Without our health, we are unable to do the things we really love to do. Without our health, we are unable to contribute back to our friends, our family, and our community. And without our health, our visions, our goals, and our dreams must be placed on the sidelines. While we allocate all of our time, all of our energy, and sometimes all of our resources, which if you're parsimonious you won't be happy about, to recover that one thing that is most precious to us. And I don't think anyone would disagree that health is the most precious thing. It's the foundation of your life, and it's the essence of life itself. Without health we have no life, literally. And if I was to say to you, your health is your greatest wealth, you would nod your head in enthusiastic agreement. And if I was to say, you should be grateful as long as you've got your health, you might tell me your grandmother taught you something like that. And if I was to speak in front of any room full of people anywhere in the world, and say, put your hand up if you want to live a long and healthy life, every hand would go up. It is a universal desire. Toastmasters and most welcome guests, the question that is interesting to me is how many people can truly say that their actions are in alignment with those principles. My objective today is to persuade you that a healthier lifestyle is not a life of restriction, of struggle and boredom. That in reality, it is a choice that can make a profound impact on your life and can lead to a, a greater potential for you. I want to speak about the fact that health is about abundance, that it is about freedom, and that it is about peace. But firstly, when we talk about health, what do we mean? The dictionary definition of health is the absence of disease or illness. It is the absence of disease or illness, but that's not how I define health. I've been taught not to look at health as an absence, and I've learned not to view it as a negative. But so many people do. They fear that a healthy lifestyle leads to a life of restriction where they miss out on the things that they love. They fear that a healthy lifestyle leads to a life of struggle where every day is a constant battle with their cravings. Or they fear that a healthy lifestyle leads to a life of boredom where the fun, pleasure and enjoyment have been removed from life. But I'm here to tell you that it is not health that is restrictive. In fact, it is the opposite. It is sickness that is restrictive and will make you miss out on life. And it is sickness that is a struggle, a constant daily grinding battle of recovery. And it is sickness that will rob you of the fun, pleasure and enjoyment of life and replace them with pain, frustration and misery. The tiny sacrifices that we can make to help build and ensure our health for the future should not be seen in such a negative light. Instead, as the author Dr. Herbert Shelton said, we must raise our understanding of our lifestyle to a plane where it challenges us to realize that there is such a thing as an abundant life. A life which causes us to accept the restrictions gladly and willingly, not because they are restrictions, because they are a part of the means by which the abundant life is achieved. Yes. Health is about abundance. It's an abundance of energy, an abundance of vitality, an abundance of potential, 
the potential for you to do what you want to do as long as you want to do it for as long as your life will optimally go. And don't get me wrong, the reward of health is not delayed to the end of some long life. The rewards of health start coming to you the instant you make a commitment towards your health. And the rewards can be reaped every single day that you live up to that commitment. It's not about the years in your life, it's about the life in your years. And your ability to put the maximum amount of effort, the maximum amount of intensity, into the things that you're passionate about that will make the maximum impact on your world and for the people around you. Health is about abundance, but it's also about freedom. Freedom from the habits and the addictions that lead so many people on a path towards the edge of a cliff that they will one day inevitably fall off. And that fall only leads to three locations. The three Ds, disease, disability, and death. And you might tell me, we've all got to die someday, which is true. I don't know about you, but I'm not looking to sprint towards the finish line. That's not a race that I'm looking to win. <laughs> there is no prize for finishing first. I want to cruise through life, stop and smell the roses, take in all the colours. I want to contribute back to life. I think the dumbest thing I ever heard it's better to burn out than to fade away. I want to tell you that that's not a choice. It's not an either or. You can commit to your health and burn brightly for the rest of your life. It's about the, the freedom that we must have to make decisions that go against what 99% of people will do. When we come to that fork in the road, we must be prepared to take the road less traveled and that will lead us to being free of the negative consequences of unhealthy lifestyle habits. And to me, these things rob you of your time, steal, you, steal your energy, make you wake up in the morning and feel like you don't want to get up, you don't want to do anything. I'm asking you to remove the shackles that hold you down, to remove the blinders that stop you from seeing the reality of your true feelings, your true self, your true desires to cut the cords of the dragnet that is pulling you back when you try and move powerfully and quickly through life. Health is about freedom, but it is also about peace. It's about the peace of mind that comes when you know that every choice you're making is building a stronger, more vibrant, healthier future. It's about the incredible peace that comes with the, the miracle that with every choice you make to improve your health, that almost all of those choices are a positive for the health of the land, the health of the environment, and the health and the welfare of the billions of animals that share the planet with us. And there is a peace that comes, a unique peace, when we are no longer at war with our body, and instead we are in harmony with our body, and we provide it with the conditions and the nutrition for it to truly thrive. And when it thrives, we can thrive. A choice to commit to your health is not just about feeling a little bit better. It can have a profound impact on you and it can truly expand your horizons and your potential. At the start of this speech I said, the person that has a health has a thousand dreams. I'm telling you to go to health. Go towards those dreams. Go towards a positive and vibrant future. Mr. Postmaster. That was a great speech. About two minutes again, please, for evaluation.